Okay, you guys. Let me clean my glasses off. We had a bit of a um, bit of a downpour uh, as I was coming into the house earlier. I'm sure you noticed the array of things in front of me. There's no way you can miss it. What I'm going to be doing is a shot or two from old Mr. Boston's deluxe professional bartender's guide. Sorry, official bartender's guide. I knew I was going to fuck that up eventually. And I have a cocktail or two in mind. Um, specifically, it's... One of them more in the middle. And the R's. Russian Bear Cocktail. The instructions for the recipe go as follow. One ounce Old Mr. Boston Vodka. I don't have Old Mr. Boston, but I have vodka. Half ounce Old Mr. Boston Creme de Coca. I don't have Old Mr. Boston Creme de Coca, but I have Creme de Coca. Half ounce Sweet Cream. I did not have sweet cream, but I have half and half, which is sweet cream. I checked the more updated version. The old Mr. Boston company was bought out by a company that they got bought out by a company, and they are continuing the brand name online with a compiled list of all of their recipes. So sweet cream is half and half. Stir well with cracked ice and strain into three ounce cocktail glass. So, um, I don't have my, um, my shaker. It's at my parents, and it needs to be cleaned anyway. But you know what I do have? Bottle, a water bottle, which isn't quite the same as a shaker, but it'll have to do. And I technically have a cocktail glass. Um, it meets the requirements necessary to be considered a cocktail glass, but it's not what um, I think the book was thinking. See, this has a, a chart of, and I'll show you, all of the different kinds of drinking glasses that you can have, right? Port, beer goblet, uh, pony, old-fashioned highball this this one down here this is the cocktail you know standard martini glass I don't have a martini glass but you know what I do have I got a margarita glass I got a small margarita glass and these are technically speaking cocktail glasses so this is what I'm going to be using for my Russian bear cocktail. I'm going to be using this cactus margarita glass that I actually badly need to clean. So um, I'm going to go clean this out and get the ingredients I need, which is creme de coca and vodka. All right, so we got my vodka, creme de coca, and a cleaned glass. So... The ingredients, recipe, list, how it make, states, a Russian bear cocktail. I need to get an ounce of vodka, half an ounce of cream de coca, and half an ounce of sweet cream, and I stir well with cracked grass, cracked ice, and strain into a three ounce cocktail glass. So, we'll put you over here in case we need you again. Okay, so, an ounce of vodka. I can still smell the alcohol in this from my last fuck my liver. Isn't that nice? That is a club soda. Vodka, one ounce. Tablespoons, tablespoons, milliliter, ounce. We're going to make this as precise as we can. One ounce. Actually, you know what? I may not need this. We'll set you closer, but 
one ounce. Creme de coca, half an ounce. I have a half ounce marker here. So, there, so you guys can kind of see a little bit better what it is I'm doing. Let me part the seas of glass. So, I got right here, we're gonna now go half an ounce of creme de coca. Making sure it's creme de coca. Oh, okay, that's half an ounce of creme de coca. And then it finalizes with half an ounce of half and half. Shake well, not freeze, keep refrigerated. Mmm, smells good. Smells good. Okay. Then I need to get it to two whoop ounces. There we go. Now we need to add crushed ice and stir well. And this isn't quite crushed ice, but It's not supposed to be, is it crushed or cracked? It's cracked ice. All right, now you just need a little bit off of you. This is solid. There we go. Just get a little, that is a solid chunk, that's not coming off. Just get a little bit of ice up here, there we go. And can I get just a little bit more in there, all right. So there, we've got some cracked ice, kind of. Now, it says stir well. I don't have a spoon that can stir this right, however, I'm gonna have to go and find one. All right, I'm back. I have the smallest spoon in my drawer. This is it. This is not very small, but at the same time it is. So, we're going to stir well. It says stir, not shake. Which is why I'm stirring and not shaking. I have read this book almost cover to cover and I see that it recommends quite often to not hold the glass with ice in it. All right, and then the final step says to strain into the cocktail glass. Now, let me double check the instructions, the recipe. Stir well with cracked ice and strain in a three ounce cocktail glass. That's the only uh, steps it says is strain in a cocktail glass. Now, because I don't have my shaker, I don't have my strainer. But you know what I do have? Vegetable steamer. Which will serve my purpose dutifully, I think. You guys are probably wondering what the hell is wrong with me. And the answer will shock you. I'm just making sure I'm lined up with it. And that is what I was afraid of right there. Fuck, shit. I'm like getting as much in the glass as not. That did not work as I had hoped. It's all over the table.
Every last one of you is currently judging me, and you are all absolutely right. Okay, there we go. I'll probably need you. Now let's see how a Russian bear cocktail made in a very jury-rigged method tastes. Probably tastes better when it's made properly. That is not very. Things aren't separated very well, is the problem. It's nice and cold, which is what the point of the cracked ice is, but it's kind of separated, like nothing mixed very well. That helped a little bit, but not really. Not really. Unfortunately, the Russian bear vodka, vodka, the Russian bear cocktail is a bit of a disappointment. But I could chalk that up to me of doing it wrong. I could chalk that up to me having done it wrong. But as of right now, it's not very good. If I have the right kind of glass, maybe it'll be better. If I have an actual uh, shaker, that might make it better. But with what I can do right now, it's not very good. So that is unfortunate and what it is. So you guys, maybe not try the Russian bear cocktail. It's a bit, it's a bit strong on the vodka and a bit light on the cocktail. Yeah, yeah, it's very strong on the vodka. So, well, thank you guys for watching this. That is one recipe off from this list of drinks. So next time we will try another one. Hopefully it is better. I will see you guys in the next video.